Forests support biodiversity, provide food and water, sustain livelihoods, and help to combat climate change. The quality of a forest affects its ability to perform these important functions. Forest quality can be degraded by intensive human activity. How can we recognise the quality of a forest? Very large trees are an important indicator of a good quality forest. These trees store huge amounts of carbon and provide homes for many different species. Good quality forests have a high, closed canopy. Low levels of ground cover vegetation mean you can see a long way. In disturbed forest, a more open canopy allows vines and weeds to grow. Tree seedlings and saplings indicate that the forest can regenerate. The size and shape of forests are important. Human activity fragments forest, creating small patches. Fragmented forests suffer from edge effects. Forest edges are hotter, drier and vulnerable to disturbance. The smaller the patch, the more prone to degradation. Patches of a few hundred hectares can support substantial biodiversity, but bigger is better. And hundreds of thousands of hectares are needed to support many rare and endangered species. Connectivity of forest patches helps animals, seeds and pollen to disperse, supporting the forest's ability to regenerate. Isolated forest patches are prone to degradation. Animals are essential for forest health, but can be difficult to spot. In Southeast Asia, leeches are a good indicator of the presence of mammals in high-quality forest. Signs of hunting could indicate key mammals are missing from the forest. High-quality forests tend to be larger, connected, have large trees and a shady, closed canopy, and support lots of animals and plants. However, Lower quality forests remain important. With good management, their positive impacts can be maximised.